I am out. Out for what? That is, I am out to become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Who is Asiwaji Bola Tinubu and his presidential ambitions? Known to be a law and accounting guru, Asiwaji Bola Tinubu has also been the national leader of the All Progressive Congress since it was formed in 2013. He carried out active service as governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007 and during the brief third republic he was senator for Lagos West. In January 2022, he published his intention to run for APC nomination for president of Nigeria in the 2023 presidential elections. For his ambitions to be clearly understood, it is necessary that we know where his journey began. Born in Ocean State on the 29th of March 1952 by a trader Abibatu Mogaji, his mother, who later became the Ialoja of Lagos, Asiwaju Bola, spent his early life in southwest Nigeria. He studied accounting in the United States and worked abroad for a few years. On his return to Nigeria, he continued with his field of financial management and later joined politics under the banner of the Social Democratic Party as the Lagos West Senatorial candidate in 1992. As a result of the disestablishment of the Senate by Sani Abacha in 1993, Bola Tinobo became an activist and campaigned for the return of democracy as a part of the National Democratic Coalition movement. He was given a mandated exile in 1994 and in 1998 after the death of Abacha, he activated the beginning of the transition to a fourth republic. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and why not inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship rather than global PT is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're indeed missing out. His early life. Asiwaju Bola Tinobo is of the Muslim religion. He schooled in St. John's Primary School, Aroloya, Lagos, and Children's Home School in Ibadan, southwest of Nigeria. He went to the United States in 1975 and first studied at Richard J. Daly College in Chicago, Illinois, and then at Chicago State University, where he graduated in 1979 with a degree in accounting. Asiwaju Bola worked for the American companies Arthur Anderson, Delotti, Haskins, and Sells, and also with the GTE Service Corporation. He returned to Nigeria in 1983, joined Mobile Oil and eventually became the executive of the company. He occupies both the dominions of the Asiwaju of Lagos and the Jabagan of Bogo Kingdom in Niger State. Married to Oluremi Tinobu, he is presently the senator of the Lagos Central Senatorial District. His mom died in 2013 and his son in 2017. His early political career His political career started in 1992 when he joined the Social Democratic Party and became a member of the People's Front faction led by Shebu Musa Yar Adwa. He was elected to the Senate and represented the Lagos West Consultancy in the short-lived Nigerian Third Republic. After the annulment of the 12th June 1993 presidential elections, he became a founding member of the Pro-Democracy National Democratic Coalition. In the run-up to the 1999 elections, Bola Tinubu was an apprentice of Alliance for Democracy. He later won the AD primaries for the Lagos State Governorship elections and in January 1999, he stood for and was elected to Governor of Lagos State. Him as Governor of Lagos State He officially took up the office of Governor in May 1999 and promised to provide 10,000 houses for the poor. About eight years as Governor, he made large investments in the education and road construction sectors of the state. Alongside his new deputy director, Femi Pedro, Bola Tinobu won the re-election into the governor's office in 2003, making other states to fall to the People's Democratic Party during the elections. Eventually, he got involved in a clash with the federal government, controlled by Olesugun Obasinjo, over whether Lagos State had the right to create new local council development areas to meet the needs of its large population. He later on had a series of subsequent clashes with PDP powers, such as Adese Ogunlewe, a former Lagos State Senator, Adese Wunlewe, a previous Lagos State Senator, who had become Minister of Works and Bode George, the Southwest Chairman of PDP. The relationship between Bola Tinobu and his Deputy Governor Femi Pedro became highly tense after Pedro published his intentions to run for gubernatorial elections. He joined the challenge to become the AC candidate for Governor in 2007 elections, but withdrew his name on the eve of the party nomination. 
However, Tinubu's term as Lagos State Governor ended on the 29th of May 2007 and he was succeeded by Babatunde Fashola of the Action Congress. After the governor office, following the general elections in April 2007, right before Babatunde Fashola took over the office, Tinobu was brought before the Code of Conduct Bureau by the federal government for a lawsuit over the avowed illegal operations of 16 separate foreign countries. The charges of conspiracy, money laundering, abuse of office and official corruption in relation of V-Mobile Network shares on Tinobu and Governors James Inobri of Delta State and Obong Victor Atta of Aqua, Ibom State, by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. In March 2009, plots to kill Tinobu were identified and so the Alliance for Democracy called on the Inspector General of Police, Mike Okro, to carry out thorough investigations. Reports were published in September 2009 about the investigations with the British Metropolitan Police which were carrying out on the transaction in which the Lagos State Government made an investment in Econet, now Airtel. Tinobu Bola later said it was a straightforward and profitable transaction to the state with no arbitrator involved. His after challenges, Bola Tinobu has generally been regarded as the godfather of Lagos. A 2015 documentary film known as The Lion of Budilion highlighted Tinobu's political and financial hold on the city-state and exposed his role in pulling the strings of the mega city-state. To stop the documentary from airing, he filed a 150 billion naira defamation suit against the producers AIT. However, there were foreigners such as Tinobu Bola's disdainfulness on successors. As in December 2009, there were reports of him falling out with Fashola over the issue of Fashola's re-election in 2011 due to the fact that Tinobu preferred the Commissioner for Environment, Muiz Banir. A similar brawl also took place in 2015 between Tinobu Bola, Fashola, Akinkomi Ambode, and Babajide Sanwo Olu. A bullion van was spotted entering Bola Tinobu's residence on the Bobidion Road in Ikoi during the 2019 election when he made the statement, I keep money anywhere I want. With all this history about Asiwaju Bola Tinobu, it is apparent that he has been a political person for a very long while, hence his presidential ambitions. Nonetheless, this latest venture is a step like no other. Has he been building stepping stones to this particular point, or is it just a moment's decision? Join us to find out. The Journey of His Presidential Aspirations In 2006, Tinobu tried to convince the former vice president of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, to become the representative of his party, the Action Congress. At that time, Atiku was a fallen out member of the People's Democratic Party due to his ambitions to unseat the former president. Atiku was provided an opportunity to cross carpet to Tinobu's party, where he was offered a slot of the party's presidential candidacy with the prerequisite that Tinobu must be Atiku's running mate. Instead, Selecting a running mate from the southeast in the person of Ben Obi, Atiku turned down Tinobu's proposal even though he still went ahead to contest during the election on Tinobu's platform. However, PDF still won in a landslide with Tinobu woofing the wrong tree. After the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party in April 2007, Tinobu got involved in negotiations which aimed at bringing together the fragmented opposition parties to form a mega party competent to challenge the ruling PDP. In February 2013, some politicians, among which was Tinobu, created a mega opposition party, which was a merge of Nigeria's three biggest opposition parties the Action Congress of Nigeria, the Congress of Progressive Change, the All Nigeria People's Party, and the clique of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, and the new PDP, a cabal of then ruling People's Democratic Party, into the All Progressives Congress. In 2014, Bola Tinobu supported one term military head of state, General Muhammadu Buhari, leader of the CPC clique of the APC, who was a contestant in the 2003, 2007 and 2011 presidential elections as a CPC presidential candidate and who ordered extensive following in northern Nigeria. Initially, Tinobu aimed at becoming Buhari's vice presidential candidate, but he later on relinquished to Yemi Osibanjo, his previous commissioner of justice. However, in 2015, the APC was cycled to victory by Buhari, who brought the PDP's 16-year rule to an end and marked in history the first time an incumbent president lost to an opposition candidate. So far, Bola Tinobu has played a principal role in Buhari's administration, citing government policies and sustaining the internal party constraints instead of his long-held rumored presidential yearning. He sided with Buhari during the 2019 re-election campaign and challenged the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. An internal party crisis in 2020 
led to the ousting of Tinubu's ally and party chairman Adams Ashiomoloi. Confidently on the 10th of January 2022, Tinubu announced to President Buhari his desire to run for the president of Nigeria. As an effect, Tinubu won the 8th June 2022 presidential primary of the ruling All Progressives Congress, defeating the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. Asiwaju Bola Tinubu is no doubt a significant figure in Nigeria's political history. He has journeyed through accounting and law to becoming an ex-governor, head of an opposition party, part of the recent ruling team, and is now an aspiring president. Is Asiwaju Bola Tinubu really having what it takes for Nigeria to choose him as president? Can he, with all this political experience, bring a positive change to Nigeria? We look forward to subsequent events which will answer these questions. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and become a member of our growing diverse community here on Think Rich Africa. Thanks for watching and see you in another interesting video.